Super Mario Galaxy 2 video walkthrough for nextgenwalkthroughs.com. Uh, sequel to the very popular and successful Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, I'm going to be doing a full guide, all 242 collectibles or stars or comet coins or whatever you can find in these levels. Um, I'm going to be covering them all, including, you know, and that includes the, uh, the, the Luigi coins as well that you get after collecting all of the Mario coins, so, or stars. So it's going to be a very lengthy guide. I'm anticipating over probably 200 videos for this entire thing, which is kind of crazy. It's going to be my longest guide to date. And also, uh, for regular watchers of our videos, uh, I'm going to be doing a solo. Uh, Explicit D is out of town right now. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'm going to have this entire guide done by the time he gets back, which means, uh, you know, <laughs> a little bit different voiceover style from what we usually do. I'm also going to try to avoid swearing, which I have a tendency to do a lot sometimes. So, you know, it's, it's not going to be the same humor that you usually get in our guides. Anyway, uh, I thought this game was great overall. I haven't finished it yet. I'm about, oh, probably a sixth of the way through it so far, but I've started recording already. Um, the way this game works is you can actually replay all these stars as soon as you get them. So if you want to replay a level, it's very easy to do so. And uh, collect a star, a star a second time, which actually makes it very convenient for me for recording these walkthroughs. Um, I guess my only complaint about the game is I'm still not a big fan of the pointer, and it's actually pretty inconvenient for me to use on my recording setup, because I have to sit so close to my computer when I play these games. Um, but that's just a very minor thing. Uh, if, I, if I had a co-op person playing with me, I'm sure it would be very a very trivial complaint. Um, that coin right there, that kind of ghosted looking coin, was the Comet coin for this level. And what those do is, after you get enough of them and you get a little bit further on into the game, they unlock uh, kind of bonus missions you can do on all these levels, which are quite a bit more challenging than the default missions. Um, uh, so the health system in this game works very similar to like Super Mario 64, whereas you have um, only a couple hits, you don't really... It's not like Super Mario Brothers, like the side-scrollers, where you know you start off as small Mario, and then you get a mushroom, and you go bigger, and then you can, you can get hit twice after that. Um, it's more of like a health bar, and each coin gives you an extra uh, pie of health, I guess you can call them. So for this boss right here, what you have to do is you have to spin kick his little, his shell, spin kick his butt three times, and then he's going to kind of go berserk, or four times rather, and then he's going to go berserk, uh, lose one of the pedals on his head, and then you have to do the exact same thing again, and he'll regenerate his, uh, his shell. So you have to do the whole thing again, now he's a little bit more angry, moves a little bit faster. But it's not too hard to do. All you have to do is run up to him, shake the controller to do the little spin attack move, which I don't find to be a very effective attack unless you absolutely have to use it. I prefer to do like a jump or like a stomp on any other enemy that's not a boss, but a lot of times the bosses require you to use those spin attacks. And in this case, you do. So there is the star for this first level.